You can see here that this is my um, English class wiki homepage. Now, I've just made this wiki over the past couple of days, and it really doesn't take that long. My goal is to show you how to make it in a faster time than it took me. Now, to get your own wiki page, um, you are a teacher, and you can get free ones that give you absolute control over who can see them, who can write on them, and so forth, by going to wiki spaces. So I'll just go there and I'll create a new page. Now, so you see the address is www.wikispaces.com. All right, I want to make a new space. That means a, a wiki for my class. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, click make a new space. And I want the name of my space to be Burrell 9 History. And I want it to be private because I'm a free, I'm a teacher, so I get private for free. Uh, we'll get into that more later. And I hit create, it's that easy. Now, for you, you would have to fill in your email address and things like that when you go to Wikispaces, but it's the same thing. So here we are. I am at my new space. You see that there's my Burrell History um, space name right there. And we can change this and make it look a lot better. Um, later. But right now what we want to do is actually make this a page. Notice the difference between this page, which looks completely boring right now, there's nothing on it, and this English page. Notice that we've got a different icon there and all that sort of thing. Look, I've got student pages <coughs> and all that sort of thing. So we want to make this new page look something like that. So the first thing that we do, just like um, doing anything online, you, you want to edit, just like Moodle. So you just click Edit, and you see that just like using Word, you've got your formatting right there. So I want to type in the content of my new page. Mm. World History 9, Semester 2. And I want this to be big, so I'm going to give it a nice big heading. And then since I've already made one website, one wiki, I'm going to just go ahead and copy the formatting from that. And put it over here. Now if you've ever looked at Wikipedia, you know that Wikipedia is uh, a form of collaborative writing. So it's, this is a great type of project for English class. You can have students do their own um, essay writing process where they are, or whatever writing project, where they are writing a draft and then revising, getting student feedback online from other students who can look at their draft and all that sort of thing. So you can use peer editing and the writing process and all that sort of thing. I'm just going to put a nice little ruler right there. Okay, so what else do we have? I'm just going to copy the whole darn thing. And put it all over here. Okay. Since my students in this are not my students in G period, it'll be uh, E period. And this will be A period. My students, these students, because they're from my English class, this is for my history class again. And now I'm ready to just start entering my student names. Um, let me show you real quickly the floating toolbar here. Instead of having to scroll up and down every time I want to make something like a list, a, a numbered list or something, I can just click on the floating toolbar, and then you see it pop up right there. It floats as I scroll down, so I don't have to keep going up and down. So I'm going to start right here and make a list just to show you. And this would be student...
and student one, whoever that is, student two, etc. And on and on and on. And finally, I'm just going to show you how to make a page for that student. It's so easy. All right, all you want to do is highlight it, and then go up here to link, add link, click on it. And you want a wiki link because you want to link to a site inside your wiki, a new wiki page for your student. And um, new page name in A period. Who do I have in A period? Let me just think real quick. Okay, L1. And click OK. And you see that suddenly that's added a link to that. I'm going to change the name here. And now I'm just going to hit save to show you. What that looks like. Okay, so we have our world history. And we've got our class agenda, which students can, can uh, come to later. I've made a page for the syllabus, major, major writing assignments, course calendar, um, vocabulary keywords, notes, quotables, and student pages. This is where students will be able to do group work, collaborative writing, make a textbook if they want to, um, their own Wikipedia, that sort of thing. So you can see where, where this can go. And I will uh, do more about this later, all right? I hope this is the beginning of a conversation between middle school and high school, and even elementary school, about ways we can use the web to uh, get away from textbooks and get away from passive learning, where students are actually making their own textbooks, adding pictures, videos, reports, all that sort of thing. Um, if you don't know anything about Wikias, my recommendation would be to just look at Wikipedia and um, explore it, click on things, look especially at history and see how Wikipedia works. You've got millions of users around the world adding text to it. And so that page is, each page on Wikipedia is written by multiple authors collaboratively. And they all um, peer edit each other and check each other for factual accuracy and all that sort of thing. So it's always a work in progress. Check out Wikipedia and then think about how you can use that in your classroom to get away from textbooks and have students producing instead of consuming information. Thanks a lot. Hope this helped. Hope it was interesting. Bye-bye.